Hey, Drake, it's time to take this shit serious, man. This nigga playing chess moves on you, man. You throwing the same punch, the same bouncy club, you know what I'm saying? Same flow, like, it's time to switch it up, man. Like, hey, nigga. Like, right, cause, man, he didn't turn this whole situation around, man. You know what I'm saying? Same fans made you smile, same fans make you cry. Like, you don't play your cards right, like, Hey, nigga, you need to do something, man. You understand? Like, he coming right behind you, making people not enjoy your shit. Yeah, niggas know it's hard, but they know he got bars. They know people writing your shit. They know he got bars, so they know he gonna... It seems like it's more shit on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, your songs do be sounding better, but what he's saying is more harder, like, you know, he's saying shit you can't come back from. Like, he can't control if he fucking with a hoe. You know what I'm saying? He can't control if he fucking with a hoe. But the shit he talking about with you, the dream, the dressing, or nothing like that. Yeah, and then the kid, that's 50-50. That's 50-50, because, yeah, it is a picture. There's shit out there now, so it's 50-50. You're denying it, though, but you know, you could pay them a certain amount of money and you know they ain't gonna come out. So you can, you know, go on your uh, IG story and say, hey, tag this so-called daughter. She already paid off. The people already paid off. She ain't, yeah, they ain't gonna let her say nothing. She probably too young to say something anyway. Yeah, she can't even talk right like that. But let alone got an IG page. You understand? The money been sent. So you can say that, that you can pop your shit on that. But they know. They know, they know they, uh, the industry. They know your secrets, man. Yeah, some of Kendra Lamar friends in your entourage. Oh yeah, they may not be friends, but they're associates and they telling your business. Yeah. Is they eating over there? Like what's going on, man? Trey, the only way you coming out this bitch on top, you got to prove Kendra Lamar a liar and you got to come you already came with one uppercut and you need one more. You need one more. You know what I'm saying? You gotta prove that you ain't hanging with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't hanging with Baker or you ain't nothing about the charge or you gotta, you gotta come with some type of lie that can persuade the fans. Hey, uh, you gonna have to come with some lyrical beat, slow down, however you gonna do it. But it's gonna have to be lyrical, like, and come straight at him. Like, you need to address him. Don't focus on nobody else. You need to address him. Nobody else don't count. Say that extra, them extra lines going at them and them. Save all that. Focus on Kendrick. Like, you need that and or and or or you can get the fiance and get they free get them to kiss on, on the video or something or some type of footage take them shopping something uh y'all all party together or something that'll crush them uh, and come to New York they say you live out there in New York Go to New York, you know what I'm saying? Like, or you can snatch his chain, press him, or you know, take his shit, get physical a little bit. Not really, but I can't say you can take his chain, not really. I don't know. I really scratch that one, because you know, he ain't really, they ain't, nah, can't even have them real ones around them. They probably ain't gonna go like that, so scratch that one. So that's the only thing you can do, man. But you keep just doing what you're doing. Yeah, you have your songs to sound better, but you're gonna lose. Lyrical part, you're gonna lose, so. Um, yeah, man, you got your ass in the gym, man. Got your ass in the gym. You need to, in the meantime, none of that shit work. You just need to be cooking up, like, you need to have some shit in the chamber and just keep dropping. When he throw one out, you throw one out. When he throw one out, you throw one out. 
keep coming hard and focus on him. Or unless you're going to come back to back, back to back. You know what I'm saying? So, outsong him. Outsong him. The song don't got to be long. Just outsong him. You understand? Like, outsong him. So you can outwork him. Yeah, he can have better lyrics, but if you drop more songs, maybe that may persuade the people to think that you the better artist, the better, you know what I'm saying? You came with more songs. And not just one more, like more songs. Like just keep going crazy, like, and they all hard. That way, if, if, it's, if you overdo it, they don't gotta be as good, because it's so many. You know what I'm saying? Like, but a lyrical dude, he can keep going too. Like, he can come up with some shit, remix some shit, put some shit he already said, mix it together, make you think he, you know what I'm saying? Like, you never know, like, but you gotta outwork them. You got writers, you gotta outwork them. They gotta do their job. Like, there's no way he should be outdoing you and you got help. There's one man over there. Yeah, he may be getting information somewhere else, but he's just doing it himself. You got writers and how the fuck you got more songs? It should be another song right now. You put God over there, like, you tripping, man. This ain't back in the getting that where you can wait and all that. Nah, it's back to back. Like, our attention span is short. Like, we, hey, man, we on the shit now. Like, you want the streams or not? You want the money that's gonna come from this shit? All that, yeah, yeah. You may take an L. You know, it could be one of them. You was the big dog, like how 50 was. You was the big dog, always selling out, always beating everybody. Then you take your first L against Kanye. Kendrick could be Kanye in 07 when they went to, yeah, yeah. It could be that, man. You ain't got no help. You ain't got no help. I'm telling you what's gonna hurt you even more when the other motherfucker that you going against, they dropping shit back to back. Yeah, it's gonna crush you. Unless you outworking everybody. You motherfucking writers getting paid. They need to be, yeah. By Monday, you need two more songs out. By the end of Monday, by Tuesday morning, it should be two more songs. It should be two more songs. One in the morning, or one right now, or one in the morning, and one goddamn by 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Go crazy, man pop that shit like you need to come with something but I'm telling you you need to focus on Kendrick that's the mistake that you're making you're telling you throwing punches at everybody saying get back get back but Kendrick hitting you the hardest when Rick Ross hit you you don't fall you know how you remember in wrestling when Kane used to get hit or Big Show or the Undertaker or that big giant motherfucker they get hit and they don't move they just move their little cheek left to right they don't really move. Yeah. When Rick Ross throw a jab, when Metro Boomin or Future or whoever else, you ain't moving. But when Kendrick hits you, you fall every time, get right back up. You fall every time, like, come on, man. Is you gonna be Mike Tyson in the Holyfield fight? Is you gonna be Mike Tyson both times? Everybody, you can make a lot of motherfuckers lose their money. Like when Michael Vick first came in the league and he went to the playoffs and Green Bay never lost a home playoff game. And a lot of people betted on Green Bay to beat Michael Vick and Michael Vick showed his ass and Lambeau Field gave us our first loss at home. Is you Green Bay? You Kendrick? Michael Vick, rookie year? Or whatever, second year, whatever it was. You understand? Like... Stop playing, nigga. <laughs> Stop playing, man. You lose this, you can't say you're the king. You can say you're getting the most money and shit like that. But you lose this, you can't say you're the king. You can talk that money talk and talk what hoe you hitting and all that shit up, but you can't talk that rap, God, and all that. No, you can be beat. So you can't be a God. You can be beat. So you got to change that six, God. If you can be beat, you, you know. <laughs> Nah, man. So, yeah, man. You didn't step up against Pusha T. Every time somebody got real lyrics, 
you you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you ain't doing this one. You get your pads on pusher, so you gotta show your ass against country. You understand? Like, but it is what it is, though. The fans still gonna fuck with you, though. You still gonna sell. You still a bigger artist than Kendrick, you know? Cause I guess you do what you do. And Kendrick don't, you know, participate in all that death, so he only can get it so big. But you, you know, the sky's the limit with you. You know what I'm saying? At least that's what they told you. That's what they told you, right? Yeah, so. It is what it is, man. Y'all hit that light button, hit that comment section, hit that notification bell, man. Tell me what y'all think about this shit, man. Cash up in the bio. Drake, man. Fucked up, man. Fucked up a nigga parlays, man. <laughs> nigga bet it. Five racks on Drake, man. For the nigga parlay up, man. For the nigga parlay up, man. That's what Drake, that's what you got going on right now, Drake. Nigga disappointed. Now what y'all want me to do? Keep your shit the hardest. What the fuck we want you to do, nigga? Yeah, they on the DMX shit. Now what y'all want me to do? Keep your shit the hardest. That nigga Drake talking about what y'all want me to do. Yeah, keep your shit the hardest, nigga. It's about to go down. Niggas is getting started. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, man. I'm gone, man. Huh?